Hello all, I am Dr. Mudassir Ahmed, Senior Medical Oncologist at Fortis Hospital, Noida. I am uh, seeing the adult uh, solid cancers in this hospital and uh, my primary speciality is in the colon cancers, uh, lung cancers and breast cancers. So uh, today, uh, this month, this month is usually observed world over as uh, colon cancer or colorectal cancer awareness month. So I am going to tell you some important uh, you know, information about colorectal cancer, which is going to uh, help you in the, in, the, in the prevention and in the early detection and treatment of this colorectal cancer. About the colorectal cancer, uh, some statistics. World over, colorectal cancer is the second or third most common cancer. It is also the second or third most common uh, cause of cancer-related deaths. Every year about 50,000 Indian people are diagnosed with colorectal cancer. About 48,000 colorectal cancer patients die every year in India. So with this we can see that it is a very grave uh, problem, health related problem. So today I'm going to tell you about uh, certain aspects of the management of colorectal cancer. Number one, can we prevent colorectal cancer? Can we detect colorectal cancer at an early stage? Number two, number three is that what are the tests advisable for general population for the treatment or for the early detection of colorectal cancer? And then how should the patients go about and treat their cancers if it is detected? First, who are the people at risk of a colorectal cancer? Colorectal cancer is usually happening or occurring after the age of 50 years. So that means all the people after the age of 50 years are at risk of colorectal cancer. So they should, must be going for the screening of colorectal cancer. I will tell you about screening in a short while. There are certain other high risk groups. Another group of patients who are at high risk are those uh, people who have had one colorectal cancer in the past or some other related cancer in the past. Others are like who have had somebody in their family having colorectal or other related cancers or who have a genetic syndrome which can predispose a person to colorectal cancer. There are certain factors which can increase the possibility of colorectal cancer in any person. One is smoking another is alcohol and the third one is obesity. In India, colorectal cancer is one of the major healthcare problems. Every year about 56,000 new cases of colorectal cancer are diagnosed in India and about 40 to 45,000 or about 50,000 uh, cases die from colorectal cancer every year. That means only small number of patients can survive this. The only way we can increase uh, the number of patients who can be completely cured is by proper treatment. Another question is how to identify the cases or the patients of colorectal cancer. There are certain symptoms which should raise suspicion of colorectal cancer. One is uh, altered bowel habits. By altered bowel habits I mean alternating uh, constipation and diarrhea sometimes and pain during defecation, bleeding from uh, you know stools and uh, sometimes uh, you know the stools may get stuck. Some other features are tiredness because of low hemoglobin, because of the loss of hemoglobin or blood from the stools. Then there are some other factors like sometimes it can cause even abdominal pain or vomiting. The next question is of screening. What is screening? Screening means the early detection or the detection of the cancer before it causes any symptoms. So is screening possible in colorectal cancer? I think yes. In certain high risk patients and all pay people after the age of 50 years 
should be undergoing screening. So what are the screening methods available? There are many different methods available. The most commonly used methods are colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is nothing but video endoscopy of the entire large colon. There are some other tests available like sigmoidoscopy, like CT scan and uh, reconstruction of the intestinal tract. And there are some other tests of stool with which we detect either blood in the stool or some uh, genetic, uh, you know, components in the stool which, uh, with which we can diagnose the colorectal cancer. So what to do if a test in the screening comes positive? The next option is to meet a specialist and plan the next treatment. Okay, so the next thing is what are the treatments available for colorectal cancer? The treatment of colorectal cancer depends upon the stage of the disease. So what is stage? Stage is how small or how big is the tumor, how much is the involvement of the intestine or other parts of the abdomen or other parts of the body. So how do we do that? We usually perform CT scanning of the chest and abdomen. In stage number one, the treatment is surgery. By surgery, I mean that that part of the intestine or the large intestine is surgically taken out and the intestines are joined together and the person can be normal again after this. Usually in stage number one and in most patients of stage number two, no further treatment is required. In patients with stage number three or some cases of stage number two, some further treatment is required usually in the form of chemotherapy. In stage number four, most of the cases are not amenable to cure. But in certain cases where the tumor has spread only to few locations, the cure is possible. With the help of chemotherapy plus targeted therapy, sometimes immunotherapy and sometimes even surgery if the tumor is only at few locations or sometimes radiotherapy. With all these things, cure of uh, you know most of the patients is possible and in stage number four the prolongation of life and comfortable life is possible. I hope that uh, all this information helps you in keeping yourself healthy, keeping yourself well informed and keeping yourself you know well informed about the different methods of screening and, and to know about who are the patients who will require screening and uh, to keep yourself and your family members and your friends healthy. In the end, I hope that all this information will help you in keeping yourself abreast with the different aspects of colorectal cancer such as its causes, its uh, risk factors, its symptoms, early detection, screening as well as treatment. Good luck.